Hello there my fellow Holotable Heroes and welcome to another Galactic Challenge video. Hope you had a relaxing weekend behind you and that you're looking forward to get your week started. Uh, as always I'll cover the modifiers and defeats first and then show you the battles so you can skip through using YouTube chapters below if you want to. Uh, otherwise let's go ahead and look at the global modifier for Dathomir Dark Magic. Now this is one of those I guess sometimes can be a fun modifier, sometimes annoying depending on what teams uh, we get to use. So every 10 turns all defeated characters are revived at 50% health. Uh, so I guess this allows you if you do have some lower gear gear units, uh, you know, to keep coming back. Uh, so maybe could be nice, but if you have no way of preventing revives, could be a little bit annoying. Now in terms of the Phoenix modifier... At least in today's challenge, not that amazing. Essentially, whenever Phoenix uh, attack out of turn or receive damage, they gain a stack of played by ear. And once they reach 100 stacks of played by ear, they gain improvised plan. Now, what does improvised plan give you? A few things. Uh, you can ignore taunt, but uh, there are no tanks on the enemy side, so that doesn't help us. Accuracy helps. The, uh... So really, the only thing that here we get is 100% uh, extra offense and 20% more damage whenever uh, we attack out of turn. This 20% more damage, so we should be like 100% more damage. Um, but you know, a little bit of help, I guess, uh, helps in the end to line up those hits. In terms of the animal modifier, the Jedi one, they do get stacking critical damage. So the longer battle goes on, <laughs> the harder these guys will be hitting. Um, now in terms of defeats, it's obviously a Phoenix challenge, so we need to win with a full team of Phoenix. Then we again have bring balance, win with at least one light side and one dark side character surviving. It's gonna be an easy feat because of the revive. So even if you know your light side or dark side unit gets defeated, it gets revived. So this shouldn't be too difficult. And same goes for the 30 critical heads. So really, I think the only challenging one today will be the Phoenix one, uh, especially because I'm pretty sure that Captain Rex is required. Now the rest of the team, obviously you will need Hera for her leadership and then the other guys, the other free slots, I guess depends what you have leveled up. As you can see, my Phoenix are slowly getting up there. And I first tried uh, free attempts with Kanan, but I was getting nowhere. Uh, because to be honest, Kanan doesn't really bring a whole lot because the enemy we are facing, they're not applying debuffs. So we're not really healing up from those debuffs. Uh, so then as soon as I put Ezra in place, of Kanan then I won in my first attempt. Maybe I got lucky, I don't know, but it's one of those things where probably you will have to, you know, restart a few times until you get it done. What's the minimum level requirements for Phoenix? I, I'm not sure. I've seen some people uh, on Discord posting screenshots with doing with less. The key thing obviously here is to have a good Captain Rex and the rest should be good to go. I also remote it uh, um, for this attempt as well, because I guess especially before I had a couple of uh, attempts with Kanan, didn't go well. Put Ezra in, remote it, so just showing you the mods on these guys. Definitely, you know, we need some extra damage because otherwise Phoenix themselves, they don't do a whole lot of damage and then enemy just revives back before you're able to take them down. I like Sabine there for the AoE stagger and chopper. Uh, as well for his cooldown reduction his basics. I think this team is pretty good and Ezra call, has call to assist and things like that. Anyway, they go first um, and then we're just gonna go ahead and uh, get rolling. I'm um, just gonna go after Revan first. Like, I don't wanna go after Yoda and then uh, Yoda gets, uh, you know, helped by Savior. He gets a turn and then he gets going. Uh, so I decided to ignore Yoda to begin with. There we go, let's get those staggers out and uh, let's go ahead push back Termitor Niora, get a stun on him, good. Uh, again, let's just go ahead proc those staggers. That's why I do like Sabine here in the opening sequence, just because of the staggers. There we go, Saver triggered on Revan, he's gonna do what he does, I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead put a hit on him, just get everybody down. So the initial goal here is to get everybody kind of low in health, so eventually you can then line up a hit. Uh, however, between Jolie and Shakti, they do have some healing abilities, which is a little bit sometimes annoying. Maybe get a stun on Jolie with Tenacity down. Nope. Uh, okay, we'll just keep hitting, I guess, Revan. See if we can get him down. Uh, almost got him. <sighs> Alright, well, he would have revived anyways. Alright, and now as you can see, we got everybody without protection. So again, it's just a case of now a little bit spreading the damage. Um, 
around so he was getting close a couple of times i was just down to two units uh but definitely captain rex you know at relic 7 he's quite durable so definitely feels like a good solid captain rex will be required for max crate uh, otherwise you know you can just take your gold crate your two omicron i don't think he's worth stressing out luckily there i had backup plan over on rex uh so he got back there we go okay again losing a few people come on get revan out get the other guys down uh, okay so here they are back again <laughs> so again this may take a while that's why i'm speeding up the footage because otherwise you know you'll be sitting here for like 10 minutes again it's one of those things that you know it's gonna be i think quite a lot of rng involved in this one but as long as you keep hitting you know yoda revan down constantly um, just so they don't get uh, ramped up and you know get loose uh, then you know you can hopefully eventually get through all of these guys um, you know especially once all of your guys do get improvised uh, plan uh, which even when they're revived um, they still have it once they come back so it's not like a buff that you lose it's kind of a locked buff all right there we go again knocking revan down uh, knocking uh, yoda down so this was my kind of strategy constantly knocking uh, revan and yoda down whenever i can and here we go we got everybody kind of in lone health so let's go ahead finish off busty uh let's go ahead again put a backup plan uh, over on rex see if we can get shakti down a little bit uh, and unfortunately there was not able to take her down so she healed up a bit called yoda for assist let's go ahead finish off yoda to an aoe almost got revan down uh sure let's go ahead finish off shakti as well uh, okay there we go finish off revan come on give me the stagger so julie doesn't get a turn uh, well i did get a stagger but julie still resisted turn meter removal for some reason anyway get julie down just in time for the max crate uh, so one more turn and they would have revived back yet again so again it could take even longer than it actually did so the only tricky thing here, I guess, is Phoenix. So again, if you can't get it done, just, you know, go on tier 6 with your Phoenix and get that knocked out. Now we have to do the bring balance. So a couple of different variations. Uh, obviously, the first thing that came to my mind was Nihilus, right? Because uh, his Annihilate will prevent revives. Uh, throwing in Treya lead for survivability and then both Darth Revan and Malak for some fear. So we can keep these guys under control. I'm going to go ahead and drop an Isolate on Revan so he doesn't get to interact with his buddies too much. We're going to start working towards Annihilate first, obviously increasing cooldowns whenever we can. Uh, so the, for the light side one, I brought in Nesk. I'm like, well, Ness is kind of durable, so maybe she can survive. But I think she will, even with Ness, there she got taken out a couple of times. But then anyway, as mentioned earlier, it doesn't even matter if that, you know, your unit for Bring Ballast gets taken out because it will get revived anyway uh, by the there you go they took her down uh, by the global modifier and luckily the enemy they don't have ways of preventing revives so you know you don't have to worry about it too much so it can really be any uh, light side unit or any dark side unit that you bring in for that bring balance feed uh, you should be good uh, to go so i'm just waiting for my first annihilate to drop i will take out revan because his aoe's and uh, you know mark direct focus is annoying soon as you take the Revan down at this point, uh, just he decided to hit autoplay because, you know, the guys, they can't prevent my revives. They're constantly stuck behind Malak because uh, they don't have any more uh, Revan in there to mark somebody else. And, you know, Nihilus is just taking these guys down one at a time without any issues. Okay, there we go. Who we got next, Nihilus? Who we got next? <laughs> All right, so we got Basti. There we go, Shakti goes down. Nile is taking care of business for me here to complete bring balance uh, fit and getting that uh, red crate unlocked. Uh, let me just give you another team out there. Again, many ways to do this. Lots of Galactic Legends as well, preventing revives and stuff. Uh, but you could uh, do some sort of here, I don't know, decided to bring in Padme and Cat because they've got lots of survivability. I'm going to go ahead, drop, remember, weapon tech, prevent revives as well. So I'm going to put weapon tech over on Cat, so then she can just, you know, uh, insta-kill uh, Revan straight out of the gate. Well, it'll take a couple of turns, I guess, uh, while we get there. Put Shen on uh, Padawan Ahsoka, so she's attacking out of turn a lot. Uh, and then reducing the cooldown of your force sleep very quickly. So there we go, I think one more turn and I should be hopefully good to go. Okay, all right, they get going. Okay, all right. Again, if they defeat somebody, it does not matter. They will just revive anyways. It's just a case of 
getting Jedi and Trevan out of here. And as soon as that happens, you should be good to go. There we go. One more turn. So let's go ahead and heal up. Okay, so <laughs> they focused on Padme. And that's the reason why you do want to get Revan out as quickly as you can. Come on. Get in here, Ahsoka. Come on. Come on. Gosh, enemies so fast, aren't they? Ooh, there goes Padme, there goes uh, Watt, doesn't matter. Knock out their uh, Revan, and obviously without Revan, they'll just be perpetually stuck uh, behind uh, General Kenobi with Tank Tech on him. Again, Watt got defeated, but got revived, so you can still complete their bring balance. And then it's all about lining up hits there uh, with uh, Commander Sokatano. Even if the enemy, they die uh, from uh, damage from Courage, not from the actual damage from uh, Commander Ahsoka, it will still prevent revives. So just to give you, you know, a couple of ideas, Nihilus, Watts and Boar, uh, you know, any sort of teams that can prevent revives shouldn't have issues completing this for you. And that's it guys, that's all for today's video, what I wanted to show you. Hopefully you found it useful and helpful, let me know how you guys are getting on. But until then, have fun, enjoy your life and may the RNG be with you my friends.